value of our researcher developed new therapy to help indigenous people living with HIV, treatment advancements for HIV have made it possible for those diagnosed to live long, happy lives. But according to Andrew Eaton, an associate professor of social work at the University of Regina, those diagnosed with HIV are more likely to develop cognitive issues at a younger age, such as 40 or 50. To try and combat this, Eaton has begun working on a new therapy program to address those difficulties. With a culturally targeted approach, Eaton started the Cognitive Remediation Group Therapy, CRGT, which will focus on cognitive strengthening in HIV-positive people. The mindfulness-based stress reduction is half of the approach and the brain training activities are the other half, which take place in a group setting where people can make connections with each other, Eaton explained. AIDS program South Saskatchewan said more than 2,500 people are living with HIV in the province, and that number is increasing at a rate four times the national average. An alarming rate of positive tests is being seen in Indigenous people. Eaton is working on tailoring the program to First Nations and Metis communities in the province by collaborating with elders and knowledge keepers. We're seeing that there are a lot of people living with HIV in First Nations and Metis communities who don't have good access to health and social care because of systemic discrimination, because of service barriers, because of living remotely and rurally, Eaton said. Eaton also believes this is an opportunity for HIV-positive people to find meaningful connections with each other through group therapy sessions. Joseph Baer, the outreach manager at All Nations Hope, said this is also a chance for people to reconnect with their roots. That's one of the biggest things is that reconnection to the cultural ways and figuring out their own identity, Bear said. The program is currently in its planning and collaboration phases. Group sessions are expected to begin in various indigenous communities across Saskatchewan next summer.